Hey guys, my name's Jamble, and today we're going to be talking about Slothians. But before then, we got a collab with a very special Hightail creator known as Canadian Flash. Can you introduce yourself, Mr. Flash? Hello there, I'm Canadian Flash, and I'm on Jamble's channel. Yeah. So, really... What do you think of that? That was a pretty good intro, don't you think? <laughs> that, that, was, that, was a, that was a pretty great intro, to be fair. Um, Thanks. What we're going to be talking about is what we think about Zone 4 and Slothians and what they could be about. It's just going to be like a theory video where we're just talking about what we would want and what could happen. So first of all, like, what what do you actually know about the Slothians, um, like, lore-wise? Um, I know quite a few things about Slothians. You know, I'm not, I'm not sure if everybody knows this, but they're like sloths. That's that's pretty important. No. To get, to get that out of the way. Yeah, they, they yeah, honestly, it's pretty cool. They live in, like, some kind of little hut shack things in like the forgotten jungle in zone four you know underground so yeah they're pretty cool i don't know if they like work with the dinosaurs or they get eaten by the dinosaurs but who knows but yeah that's that's pretty good rundown i think of the slothians because we don't know much about them have you noticed that their houses are actually like raised a bit like like that they, they got like um i don't know what they're called but they that they're raised a bit off the ground and what i reckoned is maybe that's kind of like you know how like sloths in real life they they have to stay high um in the trees because they yeah. get eaten by things on the ground. So maybe it was like, oh, they're like high up in off the ground. Oh. I, I'm trying to whoop up a picture of it. Let's see this. In the picture though, like it's kind of on the water a little bit. So that also could yeah. be a, a reason too. Yeah, that could be that's pretty cool. I guess they like their, their water. Um, do, do you think they taint so they live with like these dinosaurs because they're all underground right and there's like a yeah. bunch of forests underground do you think the dinosaurs right do you think they tame them or do you think they're they're like the their enemies kind of like I, I really don't know because there's a screenshot that we have of this like small baby stegosaurus and then there's a guy with like a dinosaur behind him and like the dinosaur doesn't look like it's aggressive and attacking him so it leads me to believe that we can tame them but I'm not sure, because in this other image, just like T-Rex or Cave Rex is looking at the Slothian's house, and he's like, ooh, lunch or something. So it's really hard to tell. We, we probably won't know until we actually get the game. Oh, you know what would be really cool? So imagine, what? like, deep, like, imagine they, you ever play Cube World? Um, no, but, like, I've seen videos on it. So they have, like, traveling parties. Now imagine if the Slothians have tra uh, travel parties. But they like ride like Tyrannosaurus or something like that, or they or like Triceratops. They ride a bunch of Triceratops, and they have like a traveling party where they're riding dinosaurs. How cool would That'd that be? That'd be so like? cool. That oh. just reminds me of Ark, though, because I'm the type of guy in mm. Ark to get a giant raptor pack and just wreak havoc, like you know, like 20, 30 stupid raptors, and you're just going around just killing everything in your path. <laughs> like that's me. And I want to yeah. do that in High Kill. So I mean, I would love to do that. That'd be awesome. Nox, if you're watching this, make raptors tameable. I say this like oh. every time. True, true. I don't even care about T-Rexes, just raptors. They must That's the only be. One. They must they be. To. They have to be. I actually reckon that Zone 4 is much like Ark. Because it actually reminds me a lot of, you know, Aberration? You ever played the Oh, that's Ark? my favorite Ark map. Oh, I love dude. Ark dude, it's when, the best one. When I saw Zone 4, I was like, this is Aberration. Like, they, oh, they got 100%. like... They got like these glowy dinosaurs and these like slop people. I was like, and and the way that like they have like antennae, don't they? They have like um little glowy antennae. So I yeah, like, oh that's pretty cool. You know those like cute little angler fish dogs that are in aberration. <laughs> I love those things. Yo, do you reckon they have something like that in Zone Four? I didn't. They ha I think there was a picture of like an angler fish. So I mean, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, it's dinosaur mm. time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think there's going to be, like, you know how in Ark they have, like, flying dinosaurs, like the pterosaurs? I don't think they're going to have those in Ark, or in, in Hightail, uh, but that'll be really cool if they did. Mm. So, the Slothians, do you reckon they're slow-moving, like actual sloths? Probably. I I mean, if they're going by sloth terms, I would say so. Yeah, I mean, we, we have seen, like, the on the actual announcement trailer, they kind of, like, walk slowly. But we mm -hmm. don't know if they can actually run or not. Um, they fish, though, don't they? You know, they, they probably move on, like, all four four limbs, maybe. I don't know, because I think in the trailer, isn't he just, like, sitting down? I don't uh, know. I, I, I think they're, like, hunchback. Like, oh, they, okay. They, they, they travel on two legs, but they, like, hunch over. That, that's, what, that's what I'm that kind makes of, sense. like... 
That's what I'm kind of If you're kind of hunched over, it seems like you're more of a slow moving, you know? Mm. I don't know. Mm. That's what I think, but... So, in Zone 4, with, like, the dinosaurs, do you reckon there's going to be, like, anything else? Do you reckon there's going to be normal, like, animals, or do you reckon that it's all dinosaurs? I would hope it's all dinosaurs. Like, I hope there's more dinosaurs than we've actually seen, because we know we have, like, the Demetrodon, which is the lizard thing, the mm. cave rex, the cave raptor, the prehistoric chicken. Those are the ones we, like, are confirmed pretty much to see so far, but I would love to see some more. Like, obviously, we see that little uh, triceratops. And now we have that, like, stegosaurus frog. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see that guy down there. So. Mm. Yeah, no, no. Um, yeah, that, that that might be actually a very cool thing if there's, like, multiple creatures in different biomes. And maybe they look different depending on what biome they're in or what zone, sorry. Yeah, because I remember you pointed this out. You know that uh, the orange frog. Yeah, yeah, you're the like orange the frog. One, you're, like, the first one to point that out. I don't know. I've never seen that before. Good job. Proud yeah. of you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> Do you know what? How... Yeah, go on. Oh, I was just gonna say, I love how they have different variants of mobs. Because in Minecraft, it's just like, oh, look, a pink pig, woohoo, or mm. like a brown cow, woohoo. You know? Mm, yeah. yeah. I mean, you got different colored sheep. Like when you see a pink sheep every now and then, you're like, oh wow. Wow. It's it's a yeah, pink like... sheep. <laughs> Not that realistic. Like, who's gonna go around and be like, "Holy cow, a magenta sheep just walks into my house!" Like, whoa. <laughs> so, do you think that the creatures in Zone Four are light sensitive? Maybe, maybe they're like allergic to like torchlight, like the fence stalkers. You mean? Like, yeah, I know they're in the swamps. I mean, if they have the system already in the game, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, like, I mean, that would make sense. It would also make sense, like, going Zone 3 to Zone um, 4, because in Zone 3, I'm guessing that you're probably going to need, like, I don't know if there's, like, a weather system, but I'm guessing that you're going to probably make a lot of light and a lot of, like, torches and stuff to just keep maybe warm or to, like, explore how dark that place is. And then mm -hmm. when you go into Zone 4, where you're going underground into this really dark kind of dense forest, you're going to need, like, a lot of torches and I'm wondering if that's what actually protects you from dinosaurs. Or, may or maybe light just doesn't work there. Maybe maybe you need like some sort of different torch. I don't know. Yeah, it's really hard to tell because some Zone 4 images, they look fairly bright. It's not like it's just mm. pitch black and everything. But I don't really know. Because you know how the cave raptor has a little anglerfish thing on, on, its, on its head? Like that's yeah. obviously for, in real life, that's for like hunting down in the depths of like Mariana's Trench because that's the only light that they have down there. So I don't know what they're going to use it for. Maybe they're, well, it's, they're called a cave raptor. So I would assume they're maybe more in a cave than in like they're roaming the little open area. But I don't know. Actually, if, if you look here, so I'm going to send in chat here. Um, sure. If you notice, right, maybe the reason why that dinosaur doesn't get any closer is because they have torches. Maybe the oh. dinosaurs can't go near the torches because they're like light sensitive. And that's why they have like lights built onto their body. And maybe that's how the Slothians actually defend themselves against the dinosaurs. Is maybe that's a they're, good point. they're light sensitive. Maybe they're afraid of light. That I think that's a really good point. You know, I just want to get off topic here for a little second. You see yeah, those yeah. like red trees back there mm. in that same screenshot? Like, what are they? They they, they entice me so much. I don't know why. I just I like it. It reminds me. Different which arc is it? In Aberration, you go down into those like different color biomes, like the red zone, the blue zone. I think yeah. there's also a yellow zone. Yeah, it's Aberration, too. I don't know. It reminds me of that, too. So I just think that's really cool. Are, are those pink crystals on the left? You see I that? Think they, I think they might be leaves. Might leaves. be leaves of the tree. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. They like bushes because they look really low down. Like, like you can see the red. Yeah. But, but then there's like this little pink. Ooh. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. But yeah, going back to the light thing. Mm. Uh, I mean, the light could scare away the dinosaurs. I mean, that's that's cool. I, I would be okay with that. Just so like we, yeah, the, the fen just like the fence stalkers. So so we know least about slothians. And one thing that I was thinking right is that maybe maybe there's like some sort of lizard people that that hunt them. Because if if there's dinosaurs being a big thing here, maybe there's some sort of lizard people that hunt them that we haven't seen, and they mm -hmm. might be like the bad guys of Zone Four. 
if it isn't the if it isn't the dinosaur because it could also be like nature versus like civilization kind of yeah that could make sense because we do know that all like in zone one two and three there's like a good guy faction and a bad guy faction we don't really know who the good guy and bad guys are in zone four well we know the slothians but we don't we don't really know anything else. We don't know. If, we don't know if they're good or bad though yet. So something that really intre- uh, interests me with the Slothians is they have like these tiki sort of like uh, emblems. If you look in that picture that I sent, do you see? Yeah, do you see, see their I'm like lights? They got like some tiki kind of. Yeah, you see the little like dragon face under that. I have no idea what that means because it has like a, it has like a snake snake tongue, but then it has like teeth and everything. <gasps> snake kind of teeth. Yo! Look, the one on top of it is a sloth. That's yeah. that's like a snake person. You mean uh, like it, yeah, it's what? That's so weird. May, maybe? maybe they're the two tribes. Maybe that, maybe that could be, you know. I mean, did we just discover something here, dude? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, maybe. <laughs> or that could also represent the dinosaurs. So it might be like their hierarchy yeah. that they're like above the dinosaurs in their rise. Yeah, just why do they have a snake tongue though? Like dinosaurs don't have a snake mm. tongue like that. Yo, they could Unless be snake. They, they could be Unless snake they people. Do. They could be snake people. But also, lizards do have tongues like that. And if you're uh, hinting on lizard people, I mean, having yeah. two and two together over here. Yeah, sna- like snake people with like tongues. Oh, I, f- I think snake people would be a really cool addition, actually, especially for Zone <laughs> Four because they would fit so well. Yeah, they really would. And also, snake people remind me of Lego Ninjago. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but... <laughs> <laughs> you you know what it would remind me of? There's there's like this... So, when I was a kid, um, I had this video cassette from my brother, w- w- be- because he's, he's an 80s kid, and it was like something called Dino Riders, and essentially <laughs> there were like these lizard people that used to ride dinosaurs, and yeah. they used to like hunt the, um, the good guys, and... I could imagine maybe they're kind of like lizard people that hunt slothians and they ride dinosaurs, maybe. That's quite rude of those guys. How dare they hunt slothians? <laughs> and then if that's actually the case, then maybe the slothians use the dinosaurs as protection. That's true. That is true. Oh, you know, it's it's really weird because if you look at the top one, that is definitely like a sloth face. And then mm-hmm. the one underneath is like some lizard person. That, that that is definitely meant to that be a mob. To that that mm-hmm. must be a mob. It could be the Demetrodon, you know, that little dinosaur thing, but I mm. doubt it. Ooh, oh, it could be anything. It could be a boss. Yeah, I just sent you another picture of Zone 4 just so we can look at it. Do you reckon that maybe they might have, like, some sort of big lizard boss that has, like, a snake tongue? Maybe. I mean, they could. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, a big boy dinosaur? Who knows? Oh, man. Oh, I'm getting so excited for Zone 4 now, because I think it's one of the zones that we know least about, but we also know enough about it to theorize, and with the dinosaurs, and with the whole underground, away from the light, because scorched earth kind of theme, Mm -hmm. I I could just imagine, like, um, there being, like, lizard people underground. Dude, I love mm. Zone Four. It's like the, it's the second best zone in my opinion because you know mm. Zone Three. You know it's pretty good, but I, I think true. Zone Four is gonna have the best lore out of all the zones. Yeah. Also, with Zone Four, right? Is there? There's above ground and there's below ground. How do we know that both of them don't have like their own sort of thing going on? So how do we know there's not like above ground, like some fire people that we have to like deal with? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, Personally, I, I feel like the people who are in like the, the scorched ruins. I think you know how there's uh, like nobody there, but there's still like mm. torches lit. I feel like it's like an old Orbis officer who was like a kid at the time, and then they ended up surviving and they're the only ones there. But that's just my theory. I feel like that'll be good guys, or maybe one good guy like Tessa or something. She yeah. survived as a kid. Who knows? But yeah, that's that's my theory. But I don't really, not really, have any basis towards it. Also, it kind of reminds me, you ever seen the film or read the book, Journey to the Center of the Earth? Uh, Yeah, I love that movie. Yes. Have you seen Mysterious Island too? (laughs) Yes, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Dwayne Johnson, oh my god. (laughs) So so you know how the whole theme is that there's like this hidden earth underground with a bunch Mm -hmm. of dinosaurs in it, and the deeper that you go, the more like weird it is. It could kind of have that sort of theme, that it is kind of like 
maybe it's really hard to actually get to, through into zone four maybe you actually have to go above ground and you have to go through like a bunch of stuff before you get there so it is kind of like a journey to the earth oh yeah and these pictures here kind of like show that a bit don't they yeah the pictures i'm, I'm so intrigued with this one concept art like every time i look at it i find something new so cool Tell me that doesn't look like Journey to the Center of the Earth. Oh, it looks exactly like Journey to the Center of the Earth. Because look oh. at this. You see in the, the, the four, like the layers. In mm. level three, it says Slothian or Jungle Slothian Villages. And then level four is the Forgotten Jungle with Dinos and Lakes. So I don't know why they're different levels now. Yeah. And then in the screenshot, they're together. But I mean, it could just be early concept art. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. What do you think about the monkeys? monkeys oh i forgot about the the i don't even know how to pronounce his name the, last time i macaque. said it was like yeah the, the macaque <laughs> the, ma the macaque Hi why do they got it yeah when i was making a video but i said macaque <laughs> oh so yeah yeah like, yeah yeah i saw that <laughs> uh, i was like ah whatever just i'm gonna call it the monkey at this point yeah he's cool probably live in the trees though yeah oh my god yo there could be like a whole like mammal are kind of like the lower species and reptiles kind of rule. And so... Yeah, or it could be the opposite, like, you know, because we have the slothian on top in that little picture, and then we have a little snake person under, so... That is true, that is true. Also, one thing that I really like about the Stone 4 mobs, right, is the dinosaurs, where they're underground, they have, gl they have glow on them. And I like the detail of the fact that they went, well, how do these creatures see... If they're underground and it's like well they glow kind of mm -hmm. like anglerfish so i really like the fact that the hightail devs really went beyond to really show that these creatures do exist and if they were real how they would actually work in where they are yeah. uh, i love zone four man it's it's the probably i don't even know it might even be my favorite zone it, there's just so much to it just gets me so excited I really do like the prehistoric kind of feel that they have. And, oh, no, I definitely, you know, the more I look at that picture now with that little sloth um, tiki thing, mm -hmm. and, and then I look at the one underneath, I'm definitely feeling that that might be another tribe. You know, that just... Could, it really could be. A, and it looks... It looks really evil, that, that tribe. Yeah. You know, like, wait, it has green glowing eyes. Hang on. You know what that means? Varen's controlling it, so... True. True. That's green, right? I'm pretty sure it's green. Yeah, no, yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely oh, green. Yeah. Green is the color of Varen. So, I mean, you know, once again, you're putting more dots together. I don't think anybody has talked about that, which is really cool. Well, I, 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 just, I just really feel like that they're hiding a lot of stuff from Zone 4 because it's very important. Like, we, we actually haven't seen a bad tribe. I mean, it could just represent the dinosaurs because they are lizards, but it could also represent maybe lizard people, mm -hmm. which I think and would who, be even cooler. Yeah, and who knows, maybe what happened on the surface of Zone 4 was because of these lizard people and they all had to move down into the caves with the dinosaurs. That's true. And um, for people watching, in case you didn't know, one of the reasons why people feel like they made the Slothians is because Simon, also known as Hypixel, um, he he like really likes sloths, doesn't he? So there's a lot of speculation that the Slothians were made because he himself really likes sloths, and he used to be yeah. like the lead developer before Noxie, right? Didn't he? Oh, they were like co-owners of. They were like co-owners or something, yeah. <laughs> Again, They're really cool though. We'll probably find out later date, like what what what's happened really behind the scenes. And something that's something that I'm really excited for is just seeing how things came to be. Like like what 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 started the idea? How did it all come to be? What why why do we have a lot of furry people? <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, I think that we should end the video here. What do you think, Flash? Yeah, sure. I mean, if anybody wants to comment what they think that uh, Slothian lizard totem pole thing means, like, go oh, right ahead. I want to read these comments. Mm -hmm. Do you want to plug your channel? Canadian Flash. Just look it up. 
not don't yeah spell it right and then you should probably find it so yeah i mean mo- most of my subs are probably already sub to you but <laughs> yeah go- so guys go follow canadian flash over on his channel he makes great high tail content and thank you so much for watching this if you like this video leave a like and a subscribe and i see you in the next one bye bye